DLA officers on patrol around Opolo area of Yanagoa had on Sunday, 10th March 2024, intercepted the motorcycle dispatch rider Edesimi and recovered 200 grams of chinchi produced with cannabis sativa, which he was on a mission to deliver to a buyer. A swift follow up operation led to the arrest of the hairdresser Josephine, who distributes the drugged chinchi from the saloon where she works in Pasia area of Yanagoa. A search of the saloon also led to the recovery of 3.00 kilograms, bringing the total weight of the illicit substances from the dwell to 3.2k kilogram. Investigations revealed that they distribute the chinchin often laced with cannabis and tramadol to students and at birthday parties. While Desimi handled the delivery to buyers, Josephine is a major distributor to a wanted suspect who produced the drug chinchin. In the same vein, NDLA operatives in Adamawa State on Wednesday 13th March arrested two wanted suspects, Ajim Samuel aka Boss 30 and Davison John Joshua aka Dantala 36 while on their way from Onicha, Anambra State where they had gone to buy a consignment of tramadol containing 14,428 pills of the opium with the tox in the body compartment of their black Honda civil car marked YLA 623SL. They were nabbed along Numan Jalingo Road. Also recovered from them were 21 grams of cannabis and monetary exhibit totaling 90,280 naira. In Osun State, commercial bus driver Ogulaye Adekoke 49 was arrested along Bonga Iba on road after NDLA operatives discovered 2,000 capsules of tramadol, 60 tablets of rafno, and 10 bottles of codeine syrup concealed in the spare tire compartment of his vehicle. While a total of 343,000 pills of opium were seized by NDLA officers from a suspect Lawa Abubakar 33 in Azere town, Katagong, Bauchi State. On Friday 15th March, same day, the Nigeria Army transferred a suspect Muhammad Rabiu 37 with 64,000 pills of tramadol recovered from him to the Bauchi State Command of NDLA. At least 24 kilograms of cannabis were seized from the driver of a transport company, Ikechuku Obialo, at Sagamu Interchange, Ogun State, by NDLA operatives on Wednesday, 13th March, while in Kano, two suspects, Ali Amadu, 27, and Adamu Hassan, 33, were nabbed with a total of 125.3 kilogram cannabis, 3,400 pills of tramadol, and 30 bottles of codeine syrup. They were arrested on Monday, 11th March, at Kada Tamburawa area and Friday 15th March at Swamiya, Baba, Utoro, respectively. Why 118 kilograms of cannabis were recovered from a warehouse in Masaka area of Nasarawa State on Saturday 16th March, NDLA operatives in Edo State on Thursday 14th March arrested a suspect, Kule Samuel 50, with 75 kilograms of same fiquatic substance at market area Otuo, Onwa East local government area. Same day, operatives raided the Oluma Okwe forest in Akoko Edo local government area where they destroyed 3,944.2075 kilograms of cannabis on 1.577683 acres of farmland. With the same vigor, the various command of agency across the country continued the war against drug abuse WADA advocacy campaign in the past week. Some of them include WADA sensational lecture for students and teacher of Government Day Secondary School, Michika Adamawa, students and staff of Nana Aisha Secondary School, Damaturu Yobe, students of the Unique International School, Abesan Ikpaja, Lagos, and students and staff of Purple Crown Secondary School, Uwani Enugu, as well as Wada Advocacy Visit to the Paramount Ruler of Alessa Eleme Kingdom, Emperor J.D. Nekme 11 River States. Why commended the officers and men of Bayesa? Adamawa, Bauchi, Nasarawa, Edo, Kano, and Ogun, commands of the agency for their outstanding feat in the past weeks. Chairman Chief, Executive Officer of NDLA, Brigadier General Mohamed Buba Mawa, retired, equally applauded their counterparts in all the commands across the country for intensifying their WADA advocacy lectures, thus creating a fair balance between their drug supply reduction and drug demand reduction efforts. Angela Ilegoma reporting for BTV News.